Hello, I'm Miss Kristen from the Oosterhout Free Library, and I like to make lists and take notes on all kinds of information. And today I have a book to share with you called Uma Wimple Charts Her House. It's about a young girl who loves information too, and she loves to make charts. Now a chart is a diagram, picture, or graph which is intended to make information easier to understand. And you can see some different kinds of charts right behind me. Now, Uma here charts or makes pictures about all sorts of things, like her family's favorite pizza toppings, her friend's lunch choices, a map of her room, and even of herself. Now, one day, her teacher gives her class the perfect homework assignment to make a chart of her house. But she has a little bit of a hard time choosing what to chart in her house because there's so many choices. So she asked her family this question, what makes a house housey? Or what makes a house feel like a home? Let's find out what Uma discovers and then you can make your own chart and maybe learn something new about your family by asking them some questions. So let's get started with Uma Wimple Charts Her House. Uma Wimple Charts Her House by Reeve Larson and Ben Gibson. Published by Ann Schwartz Books. This is me, Uma. I make charts. This is my best friend, Buster. Buster tears my charts into tiny pieces. My charting gear, pencil, clipboard, paper, ruler, triangle, gel pen, and calculator. I made my first chart when I was four. Did you know that my dad is the only person in our family whose pointer finger is longer than his ring finger? When I was five, I made a chart of all the trees I passed on the way to school. Did you know that maple trees make little helicopters called Samaras to send their seeds far away from home? A good chart should make you see the world in a new way, like this chart I made in the park. Grown-ups hold hands with their kids. Kids hold hands with kids. Grown-ups hold hands with grown-ups. And dogs don't have hands. After that, I started making lots of charts. Moon phases, possibility of werewolves. Bugs I like. One, ladybug. How is a rainbow made? Pizza pie chart, Wimple family topping preferences. Wimple family daily screen time. Uma's food pyramid. Cereal, chicken nuggets, dino shaped, Toast, chicken fingers. At school, my teacher calls my charts doodles. They are not doodles. Come on, people. Then, one day, a tiny miracle happens. And so, for our next project, we're making a chart of our own home, says Mr. Easley. A what? I say. A chart, he says. Holy moly, Gorgonzola! Ah, oh, my head begins to spin. Oh, the possibilities. Oh, the pressure. How can I chart something so big, so important, so complicated? On the way home, I'm in a panic. I study each house for ideas. Brick patterns, 
roof shapes. You might be thinking, just draw a chart of your home, Uma. No big whoop. Yeah, well... It's not so easy. I mean, just look at my house. The windows, the porch swing, the pattern of bricks. I go up to my room and begin to draw. I draw and draw. Something is not quite right. What makes my house housey? I decide to do a survey. First stop, Dad. What makes a house housey? I ask. Hmm, I don't know, says Dad. Maybe it's the smells. Pancakes delivered to you in bed? A cup of hot chocolate when you have the shivers? Hmm, I say, and make some notes. Next stop, Mom. What makes a house housey, I ask. It's a feeling, isn't it, says Mom. Like when we went back to my old house, it just felt so different without Grandpa and Nana there. It just wasn't the same at all. Hmm, I say, and make some notes. Third stop, Rex and Bram's treehouse. We're busy, says Rex, just go. Well, what makes a house housey, I say. Making songs with the band, says Bram, and finding that perfect beat together. Hmm, I say. I'm not sure my survey is working. I press on to my last stop, Lukey, up the 11 steps to the attic. Uma, says Lukey. Buster, oh, I don't know what to do, I say. Come in, he says. Papa New Guinea, Luki's iguana, blinks. Want to see my new butterfly? Luki says. It's a Hessel's hair streak. Sure, I say, but uh, I'm having a hard time holding on to everything. Luki's magnifying glass crashes to the floor and breaks. Drat it all, I cry. I crash to the floor and break, too. Lukey kneels next to me. Don't worry, he says, and picks up the magnifying glass. It still works. <sighs> I'll never finish my chart, I say. It's impossible. He gives me a hug. Nothing is impossible, he says. At dinner, I don't touch my food. What's the matter, Uma Luma, says Mom. You don't like my bolognese, says Dad. She says no ways to the bolognese, Rex raps. I'm thinking, I say. Well, can you eat and think, says Mom. There is no think, only do, says Lukey. So I do, and do, until finally, I find my way home. The Wimple Home, Wimple Family Love Levels. The End. Uma's question to her family was, what makes a house housey? Or what makes a house feel like a home? She discovered it was their love and caring for each other. Her questions also gave her a chance to share things with her family. Her dad shared his love of food with her. Her mom shared her love and memories of grandma and grandpa. Her brother shared his love of music. And Lukey shared his love of butterflies and his love for Uma. 
which all helped her to create her chart. Here's an activity you could try at home with your family where you just might learn something new about those you love. Make your own family survey. First, you have to choose a question to ask. And here's an example. What is your favorite pie? Then you could choose some choices for your family members to choose from, like apple pie, pumpkin pie, or sweet potato pie. Now, before you start asking them questions, what their favorite pie is, make a prediction. What do you think your family's favorite pie would be? Don't tell them, just keep that to yourself. Next, and here's the fun part. Ask your family what their favorite pie is, and you can record it on a piece of paper and, or take notes. So record this data or information. And if you have a small family, then maybe you can call and text some of your other family members and ask them. Finally, you get to make a chart to show the data or information that you collected. And here's an example of a chart. Now there's a lot of choices on this chart. You don't need to have that many choices. And now that you have the information, what did you discover? Was your prediction or guess about your family's favorite pie correct? Or did you learn something new? Now, other possible questions could be inspired from the story, like what makes a house housey? Or what's your family's favorite pizza topping or ice cream, breakfast cereal, movie, book? The possibilities are endless. And then when you show your data, you can choose the different types of charts because there's lots of different kinds of charts, as you see behind me. There's a pie chart, a bar chart, a Venn diagram, a pyramid, and many, many more. Uh, you can also try some of these fancy charts from the book, like this pyramid chart, which shows the smallest category at the top and the biggest category at the bottom. Like you see here, Uma's favorite food pyramid chart. You can see that Uma likes chicken fingers at the most because they're at the bottom. And she likes them a lot more than cereal, which is at the top. Or you could even try a pie chart. Uh, or you can make your own. I'll include the links below to a printable version of these charts, which you could print out. Or like I said, you can make your own. And don't forget, a map is a type of chart too. You could draw a map of your house. Draw the map of your house, bedroom or backyard, and then you can turn it into a fun game. Uh, hide something like a treasure somewhere in your house, and then ask a family member to find the treasure using your map. Of course, you'll have to mark an X where you bury the treasure and see if they can find it. Well, I hope you had fun. I hope you keep exploring and see you next time. Bye.